uh, let's look at uh, the arithmetic operation. I call this the arithmetic operation of polar numbers. Now, you've got two polar numbers. W is minus 2 plus i. And u is 3 plus 4i. So this, I've drawn uh, the axis. This is the real axis, and this is the imaginary axis. So this 3 plus 4i is basically a vector. Okay, so this is a vector. So this is your w. No, this is your u. Okay, so this is your u. And this is your w. This is your w. Minus 2 plus i. So we want to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay. So if you have learned vector in physics, okay, it's basically adding, subtracting vectors. So I'll not go in details of vector addition and subtraction, but uh, my focus would be to how you add, subtract, or do the basic operation in polar numbers. So basically, for adding and subtracting, you do the same thing as you add. Uh, any real numbers. So, what does this mean? So, W, if you want to find W plus U, you basically add minus 2 plus I plus 3 plus 4I. So, what you do is you add the real part and add the imaginary part separately. So this is becomes, I'll explain graphically and also on a calculator. So this is 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus i plus 4i. This is nothing but minus 2 plus 3 is 1 plus 5i. That's the answer. Now what does that mean? Now if you learned physics in level 1, level 2 or level 3, what you're doing is you're adding this vector and you're moving this vector. Add, when you're adding vectors, you put head to tail. So you're taking this vector. And if you put head to tail, this is, can you see this is 1 plus 5i? Can you see this is 1? This point, what we are saying is this point is, this point or this vector, uh, if you draw, this is the resultant vector. Okay, if you draw the resultant vector, this resultant vector would become 1 plus 5i. That is what it means. Okay. That's all. Okay, so now to do this on a calculator, on a calculator, first go to your run mode. Let me exit from this. First go to exit, uh, sorry, run mode and go to option and then you go F3 is complex number. You put an i here. So you put basically minus 2 plus i bracket plus 3 plus 4i. You don't need a calculator to do, do this, but this is just to check. 1 plus 5i. Okay. To take away, you do the same thing. It's minus 2 plus i. Take away uh, 3 plus 4i. Alright? Yeah. So let me open the bracket. So this is minus 2 plus i. Opening the bracket, it's minus 3 minus 4i. Okay, so uh, adding or uh, grouping the real and the imaginary part separately. Minus 3 minus, sorry, minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 minus 4i. Okay, so this is nothing but minus 5 plus minus 5 minus 3i minus 5, minus 3i is the answer for the second one. Okay. Basically, you're doing, I don't, I'm not going to explain that, but uh, to understand this, you if you do the minus of this, this vector goes in the opposite direction. Okay. So this vector, okay, just to explain. So this is, if this is, if this is 3 plus 4i, Minus 3 plus 4i goes to the opposite direction, okay? And the answer is, so yeah, just to explain this, this goes like this in the other direction. I can't move this. Uh, I hope I can move, yeah? Okay, so this goes like this, okay? So let me show you like this. So this is, this is nothing but the opposite of this. And this is, 
this is not graphically making sense. Uh, okay, so my drawing is not that exact. So basically, you are doing the opposite of this. Okay, so let me delete this. Hopefully, I've not confused you. So let me check this on a calculator. So if you if you put minus in between, uh, the same mi minus and delete this minus 5 minus 3i. Okay. Now when you're multiplying complex numbers, uh, you basically do the same thing, nothing special. So here, when for c, you're multiplying them. So you got a minus 2 plus i times 3 plus 4i. So you expand as if you're multiplying uh, two brackets or expanding two brackets. So using the FOIL method, minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, minus 2 times 4i is 8i. Sorry, this should be minus 8i. Minus 2 times 4i i is minus 8i plus 3i minus, sorry, plus 4i squared. So this is nothing but minus 6. So this simplifies to minus 5i. And i squared is negative 1. Okay. I hope you know i squared is negative 1. So 4i squared is nothing but minus 4. So the final answer is minus 10 minus 5i. So let us check the, on the calculator. Always good to check. It's minus 2 plus i times 3 plus 4i. Am I right? Yeah. There we go. Minus 10 minus 5i. Okay. And finally, you want to divide them. So for d, you have to divide. So d for divide. Okay, that's interesting. So w is minus 2 minus i minus 2. Uh, what's it? Yeah, minus 2 plus i. Yeah, minus 2 plus i divided by 3 plus 4i. Yeah, then division you have to do uh, something very different. You have to multiply by this is 4i. Always good to check. You have to multiply by the conjugate of this complex number. Any complex number has a conjugate. So the conjugate of 3 plus 4i is 3 minus 4i. So let me draw that. So 3 minus 4i probably comes here. Okay, so this is, in other words, it's a reflection of, so this is 3 minus 4i. So the, this is the conjugate of the reflection of this over the x-axis. Okay, so here you have to multiply by the conjugate. So if you multiply by the conjugate, conjugate of 3 plus 4i is 3 minus 4i. So 3 minus 4i. Uh, are we doing something wrong here? No. W is minus 2. Yeah, we are doing... W divided by U. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, 3 minus 4i and 3 minus 4i. So basically we're multiplying by 1. So expanding this, this is minus 2 plus i times 3 minus 4i over 3 plus 4i times 3 minus 4i. Expanding this using the FOIL method, again this is minus 6. Am I right? Minus 6 uh, plus 8i plus 3i minus 4i squared over. Now this is the difference of two squares. This is nothing but 3 squared minus 4i squared. So this is minus 6 plus 11i. And this is minus 1. So this will become plus 4 because i squared, you should know, is negative 1. So minus 4 times negative 1 is plus 4, divided by 9 minus 16i squared. 
again i squared is negative 1 so this is minus 2 plus 11 i over 25 because this becomes 16 9 plus 6 so the final answer is minus 2 over 25 plus 11 over 25 i okay so this is uh, if you multiply both by 4 this is minus 4 over 100 plus 44 over 100 i i'm doing this just to check whether my calculator gives you the same answer this is minus 0 0.04 plus uh, this would be 0 0.44 i okay so this can be the answer but i'm simplifying this just to check whether the calculator gives you this answer so what did we do we did 2 plus i divided by 3 plus 4i. So let me move this. Uh, so that is minus 2 plus i divided by 3 plus 4i. Close the bracket and just see. Uh, we are doing something wrong. We got 3 plus 4i. 44. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a mistake. So yeah, if you're multiplying by four, this will become eight. Okay, it's always good to check. Okay, that's why I enjoy and love the calculator. This is this is 0 0.008. So let me show you the answer. Here is the answer. Okay, minus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.44i. Hopefully, I've helped you. See you in the next video.